What's up fellas? We're back out here at White Sands Proving Grounds today and I had a failed experiment today. I'm doing some rapid prototyping as fast as possible and the initial test was a total failure but in the midst of that an amazing discovery was made. I've been enlightened by my failures once again. I don't know if I could show it to you or not what, what it was because China's been attempting to lift a lot of my intellectual property lately, so maybe you guys will catch it. Alright fellas, we got one heck of a contraption going here. This is an oil preheater, a propane powered one, just for this test. We're going to see how this goes, just in case I can't edit in 4K. I've got a, a test going here. I don't think it's going to work because of this nozzle, but I'm going to try it because I don't have any parts on hand. Everything's in the mail as usual. So we're making do with what we got. We absolutely don't have what we need. So our oil preheater's heating up there. We're going to try this out in a minute. And what we're doing is we're going for an extremely low flow on the air on this thing for a blower driven type burner system for heat. But we still need air atomization because the high pressure pumps are just too much of a pain in the neck. There's too much filtering. We're not filtering nothing today. All right. Now, I didn't get any of that on footage. It did work. You can, obviously by the color. A couple of mods I'm going to do to this. But I made an amazing discovery. Even though it didn't work, the test in itself was a, a total failure. Most would say, if I just kept my mouth shut and never mentioned what it is that I see, that's how it would remain, a total failure. But this total failure was a 100% success because I know exactly which direction to go. All right, quick rundown of what we got here. Later. We got the nozzle set in place here. Any igniter going off we're going to test we got a um, combustion zone none of the stuff we need today is available this is our oil preheater we're going to try out so it's kind of a joke but this is the spread we're doing some testing here regarding an upcoming project and I need some details and I've already discovered something very important. All right, so the preheater is on. I'll get you guys a shot of that later. It's basically just a Bunsen burner with a through tank. I have a thermal couple positioned on that heater. I'm gonna let that heat up a minute and uh, we'll get this underway. I know that's what that is from an experiment I did a couple of years ago where I cranked up an oil burner preheater and you kind of need an open pit to do this so the, the 
gases can bubble out. It's already calming down. Okay, so I was right, that thing's causing gas bubbles, but the question is, how well will it run without preheat? I know it'll run, it just won't run as well. Super low air input, hardly nothing at all. Okay, it's so quiet, you don't even know it's on. Notice the buffeting has stopped. So indeed, it was the preheater acting up on us. The whole body's almost red hot there. Once it gets this hot, we could shut down the igniter, but I'm not going to. I'm running a test and I have some theories. That's running like a champ right there, dude. This is what you call rapid prototyping, fellas. Beaver told me they want me to review their product and I think it's fantastic. You get my seal of approval. You can see the turbulator is causing rotation in the flame. I don't see any smoke, just a little bit from that secondary combustion we got going on on the side there. We do have a cyclone inside the device. I can see it. The camera can't pick it up though. So this is without the preheat. I feel like I'm about to lose it maybe. I missed my chance to do an output reading. Okay, now I'm not going to do anything except try and turn on the preheater. We're at 123 degrees Fahrenheit on the preheat. It'll be a second before it heats up.
the boiling is causing that. I'm gonna have to turn it off. Good to see it's reignition characteristics. Big air bubbles are hitting the fuel line, causing an interruption in fuel delivery, which extinguishes the flame. So earlier, when it got down to about 120 degrees, we saw that it started to have problems. All right, I just started the clock. You can see how long it takes to burn one liter. And I turned the preheater back on really low. We're gonna try and hover around 200 degrees. It seems to love that 200 degree oil. It'll run without it, but it's a smaller flame and I'm, I've, I've got some theories I'm putting together because in wintertime, this stuff's gonna mean a lot. Okay, that's slowly going up. I think we're even out pretty good. This thing is running way better than I could have ever hoped. One cubic foot per minute. And I think it's like uh, 100 PSI's of pressure on this line. Okay, I had to turn the preheat back off because it was starting to evolve gas again and we're getting that sputtering. So we can control these events. So we're predicting what's happening and we're able to cause them to happen, which empowers us to stop it from taking place. So it runs without the preheat, but it's it ain't very happy about it. Somehow I lost one of my lids. Probably at 120. No, nope, I was way off. So even 140 has it kind of waning. That compressor ain't hardly running at all. 